hi guys welcome back uh to the youtube channel so as you can clearly see we are on the way out um going to have lunch with some friends a friend of mine that flew in from Joburg, and another friend of mine that lives around uh, in cape town we are going to constantia and i'm running a little bit late but i thought to start the vlog and uh show you my outfit of the day i'm just wearing a simple white dress um these are pretty let's do this yeah. these pretty uh silver earrings from lovisa i'm wearing my watch that you know and these cute um see these cute gladiator sandals from um from Foshini. Hmm, sorry for the movement anyway yeah so this is my outfit and i'm just yeah pink bag nothing extravagant um yeah anyway let's get going and uh, check you in a bit just me.
Hi guys, what's popping? Just thought to come onto here and yeah, continue this vlog. You know what? Um, I honestly, truly, truly in my heart thought that this was the weekend where I would be doing my kitchen reveal, but we are still not finished. There are still a couple of things that are outstanding. The kitchen is, I would say, 99% finished. There are literally like three doors that are outstanding which they're going to put in on Monday. Other than that, everything is done. Stove's working, everything. So, um, like, I wish I could so just give you guys, like, a sneak peek into what it's looking like at the moment. But I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to ruin the surprise. And I wanted to, yeah, be brand spanking you when I do the complete reveal when everything is packed away and the decor is done. So I'm going to keep that and probably be uh, next week's video. So... The weekend of the 11th 12th of april and this is this is now this is the promise like 100 percent no jokes right now i'm going out i'm actually running late as always uh i'm we're going to celebrate my friend's birthday her birthday is on monday so we're celebrating today we're just yeah getting together a couple of friends um and uh food and the like so yeah nothing really um out of the ordinary but i will obviously take you guys along um and before we go i just want to show you guys my outfit of the day i just want to say yeah that i think my face beat today is a beat okay like i don't know what came over me my hair is done nicely my beat is beat like yo <laughs> i'm gonna turn you guys around whoops so this is my outfit of the day. It's yeah, just this little <sighs> what a king, two piecey. Can you get two piecey? There's nothing more to say about it. A cream two piece. I'm wearing these uh, gladiators that I wore uh, last weekend as well, or you would have seen in the previous video. Gold earrings as always, and my watch. Nothing really to write home about. Um, so yeah, this is the outfit of the day. Um, yeah, let me go. Let me let me get gone. I'll see you guys later. Okay, we are back. We are back from being outside and I'm changing my shoes actually and um, I wanted to plug you guys But I don't know if this thing is still on um, It was a very pleasant evening out and I do apologize guys as you will see in the Clips that as you would have seen in the clips that preceded this one there was not a lot of vlogging going on uh, because first of all I arrived late and to be honest I just felt so awkward arriving late and then still getting busy with camera you know bothering people not bothering people but you know what I mean so I, I definitely did feel a little bit awkward so I ended up just taking a few videos here and there with my phone um, anyway I wanted to uh, plug you guys on these crocs not these ones in particular but crocs has had Crocs has been having a 70% special on their website and in stores and I think these used to be these used to be a um, thousand rand and I got them for 300 rand and they're super comfortable they've got like the plush slipper vibe inside super comfortable 
So that's what I'm changing into. Um, today, yeah, it was a lovely day. And actually, to be honest, um, because the kitchen guys were here this afternoon, um, literally they left 30 minutes before I had to leave. And so I couldn't really get ready with them here. Like I couldn't take a shower just because, you know, it's awkward to just be busy on your own while there are people in the house so i really had to wait for them to go before i started getting ready and that made me to be a little bit late and then i also had to stop at the mall just to get my friend um a gift and uh, some flowers um so yeah then i really ended up being late but it still ended up being a tremendous evening and so my point is that even though i was in a rush like my makeup turned so great and Literally, the foundation that I had been using, Neifela, guys, it was in its dying moments. I've been saying for weeks, I need to go to the mall and get myself a foundation. I haven't done it. It was the Fenty, Fenty Beauty Foundation or Fenty Foundation. Um, that I, I've, I've had it for like a year now, a year and a bit. Like I've had it for long, that foundation. I literally was doing this, like scraping inside just to be able to get through today. But my face turned great. Like I'm pleasantly surprised. I think this is the best I've ever, I've ever managed, I've ever done makeup in, in my life. Like I'm pleasantly surprised. Maybe I should run out of foundation uh, more often. Okay, that's it for tonight. Good. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna. Start getting ready for bed, um, take a shower, and then just relax um, for the rest of the evening. What a what a lovely, lovely evening out. Yeah. Good morning, YouTube. I hope you guys are good. Um, yeah, personally, I'm not so great. It's Sunday morning today, and I'm going to be cleaning up the kitchen and packing it, packing away the kitchen. So everything is either... In the dining room area or in my guest bedroom and today it's going back into the kitchen but i first need to clean up all the dust etc so that's what i'm going to be doing i just got back i just went quickly to um spa my my local spa in woolworth to get a cup of coffee because i'm gonna need it you know and then um yeah get started so i'm just gonna first chill um enjoy my cup of coffee have a muffin so just something to like get my sugar levels up so that at least i've got a little bit of energy and then i'm gonna get started
what's up talking to my camera i don't know if i want to vlog i just think i want to chill so leaving this baby at home yeah yeah i'm not gonna take the camera with me what? yeah hmm? i'm lazy oh are we matching i mean there you go there you have it <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll take the camera with. If I don't want to, I'll just leave it in the car. Let's go. We're going for lunch at Bobo's. unboxing i have a couple of stuff here that you can't see obviously uh let's see is there anything i can do here okay no there's nothing i can do it's fine i'll just show you there's a couple of stuff that i bought some stuff for the kitchen and some stuff just for the house in general uh, and then i'm just gonna unbox them i want to unbox them now because i want to start using them and put them up in the kitchen um or wherever they need to go so I'll show you the kitchen stuff that I got first. I got something from Woolworths. Um, I got this baby, okay. Um, it's a dishcloth from Country Road. Honestly, I don't know why I got it. Um, yeah, I mean, I just saw it and I figured, ah, it'll probably look nice um, in the new kitchen. And I went for sort of neutral colors, which is what my aesthetic is always about and then also from Woolworths oh, I got some wine glasses okay don't ask me why I feel like as a people like all of us probably have way too many glasses like all types of glasses and we buy more than we need but yeah, I just thought they looked pretty and yeah, 
yeah, why not just add to the collection? Um, yeah. I just want to show one. Show this one. Yeah, just a basic glass. Nothing much really. Nice and tall. Um, yeah, I think it's cute. So that's four words. I guess I should... Um, Oh, okay. Okay. I guess I should maybe show all the Woolworths stuff first, and then I got this, um, this which is a utensil holder. So I have a utensil holder, but it's small and it's wooden, and it's actually cracked like at the base. So I was at Woolworths and I saw this one. And I thought it's quite nice. Um, I like the color. I like. Um, this pattern I think it's yeah it's very nice it's a utensil holder it's sort of beige in color if that makes sense um, it was 350 Rand at um, Woolworths our price is important guys is, is that something people want to know um, the dishcloth is 150 the price is 150 and the set of wine glasses were 400 if that's sort of useful information if you're looking to get some of your own and then this is this, the hmm something is happening in the drainage of the sink anyway I got this um, it's a curtain so my parents are visiting this week my parents are down in Cape Town to do the Two Oceans Marathon. So my parents are marathon runners. So they're visiting this week. And I'm going to set up the guest bedrooms uh, for them today, tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow. Uh, but I noticed that the curtain in my, bed, my guest bedroom is the same curtain that's here, that's behind me. It, which is not, um, it's not blackout. So when you're sleeping and the sun rises on the side of the guest bedroom, when the sun rises like at whatever, say seven o'clock in the morning, you are forced awake because of it's not a blackout curtain. So I wanted to change the curtain so that they could at least be comfortable. It's actually funny because I've had two other guests who have used my guest bedroom before and no one has ever, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think about it honestly but none of the other people told me that hey listen like yeah um we can't really sleep because the 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 yeah the the curtain is not blackout anyway this i got from at home clearance store the original price was 8.99 so the original price was 900 i got it for two two 124. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know what its issue is, but yeah, I mean, from 900 to 200 rand, 244 rand. I mean, I haven't opened it. When I open it, I'll see what the problem is. So it doesn't look like anything is wrong um, from where I'm standing, but we'll see. I'll put. I'll try put that up soon. And then I also got this which is like a platter plate, also from at home. I need scissors for this. <clears throat> so this is a bit big. It's got a chip just on one of the corners, which is pretty small, but I wanna use it as my fruit bowl. <laughs> Or my fruit plate I guess in this instance so you guys probably remember a couple of videos ago a couple of videos ago um, I collected some pottery from some pottery from uh, the clay cafe that I had painted which was like a huge uh, plate thing and I was like oh, I'll put that there as um, yeah as, as, as my fruit plate but it just doesn't look right like the color is it's, yeah it's horrible it doesn't look right and now that i have a new kitchen child um yeah i'm, I'm gonna check it away so i bought this it's probably too big so maybe that will be oh, that'll be part of the aesthetic Yeah, 
Oh God. Okay, there we go. This is the plate. It's got a bit of a curvature and the reason it was on special was is because it's got a little bit of a chip on this corner, which for the purposes that I'm gonna use it, it's completely fine. So I'll yeah, I'm gonna use it as a fruit plate and I'll have all the fruit sort of in the middle. Um, and this was also on discount, but the guy is now taking off the price tag because um, anyway, like you can't return stuff from at home clearance, so. I'll clean that and I'll show you guys once the kitchen, obviously you, you would have seen it in the, um, you would have seen it in the kitchen tour. And then the last thing that I've got is, yeah, this is nothing uh, special. It's just sheets that I got from Mr. Price Home. I usually don't buy sheets that are not white, um, like all white or majority white. So this is a bit of a... A change for me but yeah why not it's floral it's got enough white it's in, and some gray so I figure why not um, yeah so that's yeah that's all that I got for the unboxing and I mean you guys would have obviously seen all of the stuff or the kitchen stuff rather in the kitchen reveal video that's gonna go live before this um yeah guys so and the other day when was it on Sunday I started cleaning and then we went out for lunch the intention actually at a point was to cook food at home but like i got so tired from cleaning that i just like aborted mission and we went out to eat um i finished up cleaning the kitchen yesterday which was monday a little bit i did cook last night but there was no appetite to vlog that because child like during the week is just madness but anyway soon enough we'll do a cook cook with me in my brand new kitchen type of type of content but um, yeah, so yeah, that's it for this unboxing. Cool, yo. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, good morning, so I told me, do you know, don't be, don't be surprised. We're getting all dressed up. I'm about to uh, film the kitchen reveal video. So that's what's happening today. It's Sunday today. Yesterday I was doing my hair, but that's gonna follow in a separate vlog. Wait a second, ne? It's skip mess, skip mess. But anyway, I want to do a quick Temu uh, review and unboxing. So when we started, when we all started hearing the hoo ha about Temu, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get on there and um, see what the fuss is all about. Maybe I'll make a small order. It's just assess the quality, delivery times ease of use etc and i'll feed back to you guys because i am a big i use sheen a lot i've ordered so many things off of sheen and so i would i couldn't imagine it would be much different and to be honest it isn't much different um okay so i submitted the order i made the order on the 3rd of april yeah and it was delivered on the 19th which was on friday so yeah, that's just over two weeks, um, which I guess is fine. And I think that's similar to what Sheen does these days as well. And in, 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 in the, like after you make an order, they give you a range. So they said my order would be delivered between the 12th and the 22nd. And if it wasn't, I would get a 20 rand, you know, cashback voucher or whatever. So I guess that's them, you know, really committing to, a. Uh, a time but anyway i didn't buy a lot of stuff i just bought a couple of things um just because i wanted to see before i really like put money there um and i will say like i am very impressed so i got this uh it's a it's it's these counter top lights right where you put them underneath the counter and i'll show you i've already um i've already put one up so i'll insert just a clip and you would have seen it in the kitchen reveal video anyway and it really works as what i expected it's exactly what i expected and i'll put in a clip as well of, as uh, i'll put in a clip as well or a picture just showing what the like what it what it looks like on the app versus what i got and it really is identical and i think that's all you want when you buy stuff online is that what it says it is it is you know so yeah okay that's just an instruction manual okay 
underneath that. So this is the 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 lights that go underneath the the counter. So you'll stick it underneath the counter. It's got like these sticky things here. And I mean these things you can buy at any store, like you can buy it at any stationery store or whatever. So like even if this wears out, I'm sure it's fine. And then it's got a charging um <laughs> you can charge it over here. This has got like a charging point and then it's got the on and off button. And so just imagine I've stuck it on the counter and this is what it would look like. Okay. Um yeah so the lights go on and uh what is this they can flash if that's what you want um yeah so this is what it looks like i'll i'll show you what it actually looks like underneath the counter because i've already put one in and i think it's 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 perfect and i'll probably be getting uh two or three more for the other for the other um parts and i'll insert the price as well um in the picture that I, I, I slip off of what it looks like on the app because I don't remember now what the price is. And then I also got these um these storage storage containers and to be honest I I probably didn't pay attention on the size when I got it because I think I wanted something a little bit bigger than this. But I think these will still be useful in the cupboards, you know, for grocery items like small little things or in the fridge um and it's got like divider a divider thing there we go <laughs> it's putting it the wrong way around you can sort of divide in the middle if you need that but i think this is yeah this is yeah this is fine i think it's, it's exactly what it's supposed to be but to be honest i don't think it's it's worth buying these on um tim or online because i think pep home really has like an assortment of these type of storage things um and you can see the size there physically and i think the price point is pretty much the same so i probably will just go to pep home to get the rest of what i need i did get two of those and then <clears throat> and then i bought this let me just open this child okay. <gasps> this has a straw <laughs> oh my god okay so I got this little um travel mug, which I think is so cute. Travel mug, whatever type of mug. Let's see if this um get all of the shot. Yeah. This cute travel mug, it is glass and it's got a glass straw. The the I was exclaiming because I didn't see the glass straw and I ordered two of these and I already threw out the packaging of the other one. So I should go and see if I can find it. Um, luckily I didn't take it to the big bin. But yeah, I think this is super super cute. Um, yeah, glass, and I got two of these. I already started using it yesterday. It says it's hot and cold friendly. Yesterday I made my coffee in it, and I thought I was burning my hands. <laughs> so I I don't know, but but I, yeah, I think it's still very cute, and I also insert the price. Somewhere here, I got two of these, and I think that's enough. I don't need any more. <coughs> and then I got this, um, this which is a dish drying mat. A dish drying mat. So you guys will see, or you would have seen in my um in the video in the kitchen reveal video. I don't have my sink is a single sink and there's no drying area as what like the sinks we're used to so sometimes it's like a bit difficult if i wash stuff like where do i put them so this is like a nice mat and it's like a uh, rubber-ish you know it's got like a cute pattern on the I, think, I don't know if you can see it yeah you can it's got a cute pattern um just to put it by the sink like so if you can see me you put it here like so, so that when you're washing anything, pots, you can just put it here. And yeah, so I think this is great. I I, I thought about getting this. Uh, I didn't know where to get it. So it's definitely helpful that I was able to get it um, on Shein. Then almost done. I figured let's check out let's check out the fashion child and not just the uh, homeware stuff. So I've got this dress and it's so cute. I haven't tried it on yet. I'll try it on and insert a little uh, clip for you guys. But it's such a cute um 
one shoulder dress it's got these cutouts on the sides which i really liked and like after the dress i wore to the awards i really liked the cutout things and the the ability to cinch these cutouts it's actually really flattering on a woman's midsection like i don't have a flat tummy by any means but the ability to do this creates that ruching on on the midsection which is actually very flat flattering and it's one shoulder and it's short i mean I like the color and I think it can be, yeah, like a, just a cute going out uh, dress, dinner, nothing hectic. And I bought this dress, which actually looks like it's going to be a bit small. And if it is, I'll just give it to my sister or something. But it's like one of these long dresses. I'll put the, yeah, you can't really see it without the, um, if you, if a person's not wearing it. But yeah, super cute. Um, it, well, I expect it. I think definitely for me the 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 theme is that everything is as I was as I was expecting. It is she. It is um Temu. Like it is very cheap things. So you can't expect to get like Katlaring, ex like very good quality. It's not it's not going to be quality. Like you you get what you're paying for. So you can't expect it's going to be like Woolies or Zara quality. It's not. But in terms of the homeware stuff, I think it's like up to par with other homeware um home way out there so i'm not mad at, at all and i probably will be buying again on temu just to get more of these under counter lights and a couple of other things that i have in my cart and then one last thing i'm going to put you guys down thing is this a big box over here my mom and my dad were in town uh last week for the two oceans marathon <laughs> For the two oceans marathon and they got me a bin guys my bin is i, I didn't put it outside because i just like what's going there this thing does not fit into my new kitchen and they were at the shops and they they just like hey let's get a bin so i said let me unbox it in my video um yeah and i absolutely love it i think it's pretty cool Okay, there we go. Here is my bin. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it through the channel because I'll, I'll show you properly. But um, yeah, it's sort of cream white. It's got a bit of a farmhouse style type of thing. It's got a bit of a farm house type of thing, and it is a pedal, pedal, and it's got a uh, buckle shape. Style. So I think it works excellently with the colors and in my space. I'm not sure yet where I will position it. I don't have the most amount of space, but yeah. And that's it, guys. That's it for the unboxing. And I think yeah, I think this is the end of the video. So. Yeah, nothing more to say. Um, there's nothing more to say. I'm gonna end this video here. This video has been going on for weeks, and I think we're all just you know get it out of our system. So thank you so much for watching. If you have watched until this part, um, and yeah, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. I love, love, love engaging with the people in the comments, so please. Um, definitely don't forget to comment, leave me a heart in the comments if you did enjoy this video. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one. Cheers!